My daughter, Carrington, 16 years old, she was a junior at Bird High School. She was really shy, but she was outspoken in a way. She always made us laugh. On January 9th, it was a typical day. And in that afternoon, when I got off work, Carrington was there and uh, we had a conversation. She went to her room. When I walked into her room, that's when I found her in her closet. She had hung herself. Her prognosis was very grim. She was intubated. Whenever I got there that morning, she wasn't responsive. She wasn't responding to pain. It definitely did look dismal at that point. As I was able to start kind of having that conversation very slowly with Shanna about how things would happen if she, if Carrington did continue on the, on the path that she had been on where she was not making any progress, she was very receptive to it. She was very, very tearful, obviously. I can't imagine what a parent goes through as as they're losing their child or thinking that they're even going to, that they might lose their child. At 10.42 a.m. on January 11, my sweet baby Carrington left this place. There is an epidemic in teenagers these days. It's getting worse, not better. We've seen a steady rise in the stress reported by teens, and we've seen an increase in the rates of suicide. Talk to your kids. Communicate. Sit down and talk. Parents need to be aware of any changes in their teen's behavior, changes in sleep pattern, more withdrawal, a drop in grades. These things can be signals that there's a mental health issue. If a teen or a child begins talking about being a burden, that talking about not wanting to live anymore, talking about death, these can be signals that the parent should ask deeper questions. Everyone needs to know that asking about suicide does not put that thought in anyone's head, and it can actually save a life. I don't know if I could have asked for a better group of people to take care of my baby. It takes an extraordinary type of person to work there. I will never in my life forget how they loved my baby. You know, how they loved us. One nurse in particular, Miss LT, her name is Lauren Thomas. She will always and forever stand out. She was concerned about me. I kind of felt like I knew what the conversation was gonna go, or the direction that the conversation was gonna go in. And I knew they were gonna need me. She got the best care, in spite of her not making it. This is the absolute best place for any type of situation to come to. We could not have gone through what we've gone through without the help and support of each and every one of you. And I thank you. Consider counseling for prevention. Consider counseling to talk to someone to prevent problems. I highly recommend considering that if you think anything is going on. There is help for teens and for families facing this issue. 
We know how to support families going through struggles. Please ask for help. I think that Carrington would be very happy in knowing that her story is getting shared, even if it helped just one person.